Ryan, thank you. Now to New London, where demolition crews have completed a major task. Take a look at the progress they made just today. Crews have been at it since early this morning, and Fox 61 was there to document the demolition. This is what remained as of noon, and this is what the engaging Heaven Church, formerly the first congregational church, looks like tonight. It's two tall stone towers leveled along with so much of what remained from the collapse of the steeple, roof, and facade. Fox 61's Jake Garcia spent the night in New London to watch the progress of the demolition and find out where the faithful will meet tomorrow morning for Sunday services. They will be having services tomorrow. I'm going to have my photographer Dell zoom in to where they will be having those services. If you look down at the end of the block there, that red and white marquee sign, that is the Guard Arts Center, and that is where we'll be having services tomorrow, just a block away from what remains here in New London. It's like watching a train wreck. I can't look away, and I'm just very sad to see this, and I know that a lot of people come here to worship. This place means a lot to so many people. People all across the area came to witness history crumble into a pile of rubble as crews demolished the two remaining steeples of the more than 170 year old church. Earlier today I was thinking about how people probably came here to seek refuge and pray during the two world wars and during a lot of tragic events that have happened in the world. Fox 61 spoke with two church members Saturday who did not want to go on camera but they say they're choosing to see this as a new beginning for their church and the pastors at Engaging Heaven Church agree writing on Facebook quote our skyline may never be the same, but the strength of our churches and the strength of our city has only increased. The Nichols writing about their reaction to all of the community's support, saying, quote, everyone in the city has brought me to tears on so many occasions the last two days. There are not tears of pain, but tears of indescribable hope and joy for the days ahead. City officials trying to be more proactive so this doesn't happen again. You can be assured that at least in this city, and I imagine many cities across the state, are going to be putting a closer eye on the condition of some of these historic structures, because this has certainly caught us by surprise. Many people hoping whatever comes next will pay tribute to this historic church. Whatever comes here next, it's sad that it won't be 200 years old anymore. And and I hope that they can build something with a classic look here. It's important to preserve New London's history. As demolition continues through the weekend, crews are balancing investigating what led to the collapse with bringing the rest of the building down safely. We're preserving as much evidence as we can in the hopes of being able to determine that. But as the fire marshal said, we may never know the answer. Even in the rubble, you can see the beauty of the architecture of this old church. And this pile of rubble that you see is expected to get bigger as crews will be out first thing Sunday morning to continue the demolition process. In New London, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.